And welcome back, YouTube. This is Booster Buster here with another video. Today I got for you, from the Naruto Collectible Card Game, my second Lineage of Legends Booster Box unboxing. Of course, this was the 10th set released in the Naruto CCG, and it contains a lot of great cards. Most notably, the uh, three Sanin characters, Jiraiya, Tsunade, and Orochimaru in their younger days. I'm really hoping to pull Orochimaru uh, in his younger days. That would be a fantastic pull, but it's not a guarantee because it is an SR. Super rare. There's actually quite a few cards I'm still missing from this set in all categories. We're talking rare, super rare, uncommon, and I think I'm even missing a few commons. So, plenty of new potential to pull from these packs. Alright. This is always a fun one to open because of the super spiky hair that both characters possess. If you look at the back of it, you, you, you almost think that you're staring at it like a sea urchin or a porcupine or something like that. Maybe even Sonic the Hedgehog. Just look at that. Look how spiky those are. And it doesn't want to go down all the way. I think I had this problem with the first one I did too, so that just seems to be a little bit of a box issue. Anyway, that is what it would look like if it was at the retail location. Which unfortunately, not a lot of places even put up Booster Box displays like this anymore. Without further introduction, we're going to take a look at the left and right side packs. Of course, we got Younger Days Jiraiya and the fourth Hokage, both fantastic characters. But we're going to start with the Jiraiya side and work our way left. Alright, our first card is Thunder Funeral, Feast of Lightning. Very cool. Our first rare is uh, Komi. It's a client rare. Is that damaged? Look at, the, look at this card on the back. It's like miscut or misprint or something, but yeah, it has like a, almost like a fold line on the side. On the bottom there. I don't know what's going on. Does this card have it on the back too? No, it's just the rare. Huh, that's weird. So that could be a little bit of a either damaged packaging or misprint there. Unexpected results. Emergency evacuation. Cheesecake Jutsu. Very, very funny. With, uh, Ko I believe, Konohamaru and his squad. Lost of lots of energy. Look at that diamond foil. Very cool. That is a rare foil, too. Very nice. Mobile Fortress. Leaf Village Open Competition. Funeral of the Living. And Neji Yuga. Not a terrible way to start. Is this card... Yeah, for whatever reason... Just the rare card has like a little, I don't know if it's bent or if it was just miscut a little bit, but it's it just kind of a weird thing. On to pack number two. Ooh, look at that foil. I never noticed that before, the little uh, chest guard there. A 
I also wouldn't mind pulling the uh, Younger Days Tsunade, because I don't have that one either. And I know that both of those are desirable cards to have. Plus, I, I don't have either of those for my collection, so that'd be kind of cool. Duel at OK Temple. Shark Skin. Water Style Giant Vortex Jutsu. Very nice. Deleted Record. Ooh! <laughs> Speaking of Orochimaru, I pulled Orochimaru and I'm happy. Very, very happy. That, I, I honestly could not have asked a stronger way to start this box than this. Orochimaru. Very, very awesome. Let's take a look. Water. Turn 5, 2 hand cost. Leaf, Sonning, Male, Growth, Mental Power 3, Lurking, Evil. If this ninja team's... If this ninja team wins an outstanding victory or an outstanding battle reward, it gets the following effect during the run. Valid at the end of the turn, if this ninja is in your village, select one of your opponent's in-play ninjas with the lowest entrance cost and discard it. 6-4 healthy, 5-2 injured. So it's a conditional effect. You have to win an outstanding victory or an outstanding battle reward. And it has to be with this ninja's team, so it can't just be any ninja or any team that you have. It has to be this ninja's team. So it's a little bit on the uh, restrictive side. But if you do, you get to discard an opponent's ninja that has the lowest entrance cost. And if there's more than one, you get to choose. So that's kind of cool. Um, definitely not the best Orochimaru. There are a lot better Orochimarus out there. However. I definitely wanted this card because I did not have it. It's a Younger Day Orochimaru, and it is very, very nice to add to my collection. Super awesome pull. In my opinion, not the best effect just because it's relying on that outstanding victory win, but great card nonetheless. I, anything Orochimaru, I definitely love to have, and that is great for the collection. That was Orochimaru, Orochimaru, Younger Days. One of the three signing. We got Restoration of the Memory, Rock Lee, Lightning Ball, Self Sacrifice, and Clement Stance Flower. If I can get Tsunade. That'd be fantastic. We got Rock Lee again. Thunder Funeral, Feast of Lightning. Uh, Rising Thunder is our rare from the movie. Kurosaki Gang. The Squad 7. I don't remember if I have this one or not. Universal Assimilation Jutsu. Wounds from the Lost Battle. Reverse Hollow uh, Wavy Foil. Right Man for the Job. You know, how about Right Woman for the Job? Wounds from the Lost Battle. And Tragedy is our final card. Unfortunately, I don't remember what the best cards from this set were off the top of my head, so forgive me for that. Eno. Tim Mari. Ooh, this is uh, the guy from the movie. It's Timujin. Now, what's going on with this? Look at this. If you look at the card in the right light, you can see a crease. This is Pack Fresh, a crease from a Pack Fresh pack. 
That is ridiculous. Do the other cards have that? No, this card's fine. This card's fine, but for whatever reason, Temujin, you got a crease. Please stop that. Sasuke Uchiha, love that uh, windmill art there. Water style, great cannonball jutsu. Chakra absorption jutsu. Assimilation sand coffin, that's a reverse hollow common, very cool. Duel at OK Temple. Eno. And Sancho. Client. I wish you better, better not have that crease. Orochimaru's good, okay. I'm going to put him aside, because uh, just in case I get a one that doesn't have a crease, that'd be nice. Ranmaru, Muscle Memory, Blocked Memory, this card seems to be okay, Karashi, Toad Sword, very cool looking, Flying Nail Mist, sounds painful, Sea Monster Panic Reverse Hollow Diamond Foil, that is a nice card, I like that, like that quite a bit, good pull. Uh, Ache of the Curse Mark, Clement's Dance Flower, and Right Guess. This pack feels like it contains something fun. It just feels a bit heavier. Muscled Memory. Ooh, the third Hokage and Monkey King Enma, very nice rare. like that a lot. It is not damaged, so that's a good thing. Deep Ambition. Transformation. Tofan. Flying Nail Mist, Diamond Foil, very cool. Power of the Seventh Swordsman of the Mist. False Charge. A Vicious Reception, and Tintin. We got Eno. Ooh, love that Shoji. This one would be a fantastic one to get Reverse Hollow, especially in that Diamond Foil. That'd be, ah, uh, beautiful. Kakashi is our rare cooking match. Unguarded Moment. Chakra Absorption Jutsu. It's the Kurosaki Gang Reverse Hollow Wavy Foil. Not bad. Duel at OK Temple. Eno again, and Sasho. This pack, look at it, it, it was pressed weird, it, it's pressed at an angle, that's kind of weird. Uh, but then again, from card games, I come to expect the weirdest things now. This one I'm actually a little bit afraid to even open with the scissors because it's kind of tighter than normal. Does that mean it contains a good card? It might. It might contain a super rare. That'd be kind of cool. Super Asunade. I'd like that. Uh, 
Oh, it's one of my favorite arts. Scum recipe. Wait, did I get that to the right? Is it going? Is it going? Apologies about this. This pack just refuses to open. I can get the... Yes, got it. Okay. Sorry, Jiraiya. That kind of completely ripped your face off. Scum recipe. I, th this guy just looks like he's so devious. Like, he's just ready to lay down the law. Tofan. The third, the third Okage and Monkey King Inla. Very cool. Uh, rich knowledge. Okay, so we got Jiraiya. Unfortunately, this is a duplicate for me. However, that's two of the three uh, Younger Day Sonning, so that's kind of cool. We'll take a look here. We got Lightning. Uh, turn 5 to Hand Cost. Leaf Sonning Male Growth. Eccentric Man of the Village. Uh, the stats 7 to Healthy. That's kind of... Kind of trippy. And 5-2 injured. When this ninja team is win an outstanding victory or an outstanding battle reward, you can look at all the cards in your opponent's hand, select one of them, and discard it. Now this one, in my opinion, even though the effect isn't valid, it's better than Orochimaru because you get knowledge. You get to look at your entire opponent's hand. Uh, select one card of any card in their hand and discard it. That's a very powerful effect compared to Orochimaru. When Orochimaru is a more immediate danger, Jiraiya is more of a future danger, and knowledge gainer. In my opinion, Orochimaru, or Jiraiya beats out Orochimaru, but that's just my opinion. That is Jiraiya, Younger Day Sanin. Gentle Fist Style, 8 Trigrams, 64 Palms. Hokushin, Tamari, a penniless man, and Leaf Village Open Competition. That so that Jiraiya pack did indeed contain a Jiraiya card, so that was kinda cool. We got Enema, Hokushin, Island Mysterious Abductions, Youthful Land, Youths of the Land of Wind, very nice, Secret Activities, Curry of Life, Assimilation, Sand Coffin, Summoning Jutsu, Sea Monster, very nice, Wavy Reverse Hollow, uh, No Sense of Direction, and Surprise attack in the dark. Very cool. Honestly, if this if this box contains the Tsunade, this would have been a god box back in the day. Because everybody wanted those Younger Day signings, even though they were expensive to get out. We got Yori. Tsukiyomi, fantastic pull. This would be a fantastic one to have reverse hollow. Flying Nail Mist. Universal Assimilation Jutsu. Diamond Foil. I love the Diamond Foils over the uh, regular, or wavy. Clemens Dance Flower. Right to Guess. Ranmaru. Choji. And Blade Slash. We got, uh, Hakaku, Weight Training, Shino, very cool, Choji, Thunder Dragon Tornado, I have a lot of this card, unfortunately, Temujin Uncommon, Fire Style Dragon Flame Jutsu, very cool Anko card, D 
deformable body. Deformable body. I love it when that happens. And false jutsu. On to the last pack on the left hand side of the box. Summoning Jutsu, Sea Monster. Chakra Absorption Jutsu. I think it's trying to tell me something. Visitors of the Darkness, Naruto Uzumaki, Self Sacrifice, Gamakichi and Gamatatsu, Island of Mysterious Abductions, Sasuke Uchiha, Hinata Hyuga, and Demon Illusion Hellfire Jutsu. Alright, so that was it for the left hand side of the booster box, honestly. Love the Orochimaru, started off strong. The Jiraiya is a duplicate, but it's a pretty good duplicate to have. Now we get to move on to the fourth Okage side of things. As far as there's no one in our house. Alright, so our first card is Unguarded Moment. Bur uh, bur burnished Blades. Sorry, had to think about that one. Symbol of a Rogue Ninja. Reverse Hollow Rare. Very cool. Uh, Leaf Village Open Competition. Weight Training. A lot of missions. Duel at OK Temple. Hokushin. Super Excellent Great Hyper Attack, Assimilation Sand Coffin, and Kasami! Very nice pull. Always great to have a couple of Kasamis. It has a very slight crease at the top, but that's, that's livable. On to our next pack. If my calculations are correct, I'm actually going to put that aside. We'll open that one up later. Bags don't want to open. Just, just a hanging on by a thread there. Toad Sword, very cool. Sasuke Uchiha, another very nice card. Haku, very cool. All my calculations were wrong. So we got. That's not a bad thing though. We got the fourth Okage from a fourth Okage pack. We got both. Of the pack arts in one box. This has turned out to be a really good box. So we got a lightning character, turn six, one hand cost, five, four healthy, six, five injured. Leaf Satusa, male mental power two, lightning speed. Fallon, when you win a uh, normal battle reward or an outstanding battle reward due to ninja's team or this ninja's team you can win one additional battle reward very powerful well when this ninja is an injured status this team cannot be blocked by a team with one ninja so you can't jump block okay um this is all around a good card 
Both effects are valid, so if they're if he's injured or healthy, he still has them. He is turned six, one hand cost though, so that's uh one hundred percent normal for the time. This was like the standard. His stats are a little bit low for healthy, but for injured they are quite decent. Uh, a rare time where injuring the character actually makes him stronger. Uh, his first effect is basically if you're winning, you win a little bit more, you can win a little bit faster. And his second effect basically stops chump blockers. So you can have, if your opponent only has uh, teams of one ninja, you can just attack directly with this uh, ninja's team. So, very powerful. Honestly, if you're running a lightning deck, this guy is probably a good idea to have. Uh, j just all around, a good, solid card. Uh, in my opinion, better than both of the uh, younger Daisanis. We got a uh, Nagara. Sancho. False Jutsu. Hakushin, Kankuro, and Cheesecake Jutsu. And I'm not having a foil Cheesecake Jutsu. So I was wrong. I thought I thought this one was going to be a foil, so... Or a uh, super rare. So I will come back to this pack then. pack did not want to open whatsoever. Okay. Probably damaged some cards, so that's unfortunate. You got summoning Jutsu Sea Monster. Yeah, that's that's toast. Oddly enough this card's not. Thunder Dragon uh tornado is fine, even though it's like my fourth or fifth one I have. Moving underwater. Azuma Saratobi. I'm coming for you! That sounds like a threat more than anything. Uh, Wounded of the Lost Battle. Penniless Man. False Jutsu. Gamakichi and Gamatatsu. And Muscle Memory. Very cool. Again, this one's pressed really close to the cards, and I'm always afraid when it's pressed that close, I'm going to snip one. Love this card, Power of the Sharingan Eye. The art is just fantastic. Kimimaru Rare. Uh, Sazanamai. Very cool looking character. Perfect disguise. I'm coming for you, Hugo Way. Ino. Thunder Funeral, Feast of Lightning, Chakra Absorption Jutsu. And Haido transformed. This is really the only reliable way to do this, is you can just kind of kind of wave it back and forth like this. Because if you go too far one way, then it'll stop going, and if you go too far the other way, it'll stop going, and you end up sad. I gotta hope that this tab will... There we go, okay. 
reach. We got a damaged toad sword, but that's fine. I have multiple of them already. Might guy, very cool. Paper bomb, that's new. Uh, Naruto Uzumaki. Blown in the wind. Aches of the curse mark. Konohamaru Ninja Squad, always cool. Land of the mysterious abductions. Multi Shadow Clone Jutsu. And Gatsu. We got another one. Oh, these are so pressed so close to the cards. Maybe I'd be better off going from the top. Doesn't look to be pressed too hard on the top here. Never mind. Okay, got it. We got Tofan, Use of the Land of Fire, very cool. I love how Gar is just kind of in the back of that card. Unguarded Moment, uh, Burnished Blades, Tragedy, you can barely see that card. Night Attack, Symbol of Evil, Right Man for the Job, Tintin, and Tamari. Getting close to the end of this box. Honestly, I'd say this has been a pretty dang good box overall. We got Neji Huga, Shino, Cheesecake Jutsu, Ooh, Gara of the Desert Possessed Mode. Very cool looking card. Gentle Vistal, 8 trigrams, 64 palms. Haido's Soldier, Gentle Fistel, 8 Trigram, 64 Palms, Reverse Hollow, Irregular Attack, uh, Hi Toad, Hi Toad, just uh, replace this guy's image with a uh, Toad from Mario, and be like, Hi Toad, he'd be like, Hi! Or, more accurately, Oh no! Temporary Team. Of course, right over the center, this card does not want to open. I'm feeling lucky. This pack feels good. Moving underwater. Why is... I, this is my second moving underwater and it's damaged beyond belief. Look at that. Why? That's stupid. We got a Temujin. Haha, <laughs> look at that. I was right. Lucky. All four were ninjas, so that's a good pack. Or a good box. Super rare Kakashi Hatake. Fire. Five, turn 5, 1 handcuffs. 6, 3, 3, 2. Good healthy. Uh, below average for injured. Leaf Jonin Males Jargonai Mental Power 3. Eye that detects falsehood. Well, this ninja cannot be affected by the effects of your jutsu cards. Let me restart. A valid. This ninja cannot be affected by the effects of jutsu cards used by your opponent's ninjas that do not have genjutsu combat tribute. So basically, if your opponent uses a jutsu that targets any any of your teams, even if it's a blanketing jutsu, he's unaffected by it as long as the user of the Jutsu does not have a Genjutsu combat attribute. 
So that's pretty powerful. Basically, he's uh, he's unaffected by all jutsus unless used by a uh, genjutsu character. So that's kind of cool. Honestly, this Kakashi would be worth running uh, if you're looking just to protect him and you want to use like a powerful jutsu of your own. That'd be uh, pretty powerful. Yeah, I definitely recommend using this Kakashi, especially back in the day. That's a pretty solid card. Wanted poster with the reward. Well, wanted posters usually do have rewards, so that's kind of self-explanatory. Night attack, weight training, Hyuga Wei, Gamakichi and Gamatatsu, Hinabi Hyuga and Hizashi, and Universal Assimilation Jutsu. As long as this card isn't damaged. Which it's not. It's not. We got ourselves a good one. I'm okay with that pack. Although having not one but two of this card damaged with a crease right there. It's impossible for me to show. Right there. Look at that. Look at that crease. Why? This is so annoying. It's just a card that I have to throw away. No, nobody wants a damaged card like that. Unless it's for pure uh, tabletop uh, playing purposes. Uh, I don't... I think this card's fine. Okay. A simulation, Sam Burial. Another Sasuke. Not bad. Sonic Speed Attack. Kakashi and Might Guy, very nice. A Vicious Reception. False Charge. I have so many of this card. Sancho, Visitors from the Darkness, Naruto Uzumaki, and Shino. We only got three packs left. And honestly, this was a pretty dang good box overall. All four of the super rares were ninjas. Even though some of the cards came out a little bit damaged, none of the super rares were damaged. Most of the rares were spared, and that's a pretty good day, in my opinion. Although the moving underwater being damaged all the time, that is super annoying, because I think I'm missing that card, and I don't want to put a damaged one in my collection. Thunder Funeral, Feast of Lightning, Bite, that's damaged. Ooh, Kiranai, I love that. This card looks really nice, I like it. Flying Knee, Tim Mujin, uh, Response of the Warriors, cool. Surprise, Attack in the Dark, Right Guess, Shadow of the Nine-Tailed Spirit, and uh, Imo, Izumo, and Kotetsu. Another damage card, Chakra Absorption Jutsu. That's really starting to annoy me. But this card's fine. Mike Guy. Very nice. Restoration of a memory. Hinata Hyuga. Weight training. Very cool. Reverse hollow. Perfect disguise. I'm coming to you, Hyuga Way. You know? And super extra great hyper attack. Alright, we are down to our final pack. Will we get lucky and get a fifth uh, super rare? Probably not. Honestly, I'm not going to lie, Bandai was pretty dang good at distribution. They, it, it, The stated odds were always almost right on. Like, you're going to get four super rares, you pretty much always got four super rares. So, I will give credit to that. They were almost always right on with the uh, distribution mark. 
As far as I have seen, I have never seen personally a box that contained five super rares or three super rares. No powers of, no power of observation. That's pretty dangerous to have, Naruto. Unexpected result that is damaged. Ooh, World of Genjutsu. I don't think I have this card. And I only pulled a reverse hollow. Fantastic looking card, though. Clemens Dance, Flower. Enema. Temporary Team. Rock Lee. Shino. Universal Assimilation Jutsu. And at last, Rare is Wanted Poster with a Reward. Alright, so put the commons aside, let's do a quick recap and call it a video. Rares first. Want a poster with a reward? Mike Guy. Kiranai. Sasuke Uchiha. Want a poster with a reward? Gara of the Desert Possessed Mode. Use of the Land of Fire. Uh, Gatsu. Haido. Thunder, Dragon, Tornado. Haku. Very cool. Kasami, Sasuke again, Thunder Dragon, Tornado, Blade Slash, Use of the Land of Wind, Monkey King Inma and Mike, or Monkey King Inma and Third Hokage, not Mike Guy, Kakashi, Double Dose, Third Hokage and Monkey King Inma, Black Memory, Rising Thunder, Water Style, Giant Vortex, Jutsu, and Komi. For our reverse hollows, we got some fantastic reverse hollows. We got World of Genjutsu, very happy with this card. Weight Training, Response of the Warriors, A Vicious Response, Gentle Vistel, 8 Trigram, 64 Palms, Tragedy, Paper Bomb, uh, Sanza Man, I'm Coming to You, Symbol of the Rogue Ninja, Chakra Absorption Jutsu, Deformed Body, Universal Assimilation Jutsu, Summoning Jutsu, Sea Monster, Kurosaki Gang, Flying Ninja, or Flying Nail Mist, Sea Monster Panic, Fantastic Reverse Hollow, Assimilation Sand, uh, Coffin, Wounded from the Lost Battle, and let's, lots of energy. And for the super rares, the star of the show, we got some pretty dang good ones. We got Kakashi, very cool. The fourth Hokage, Jiraiya, and that fantastic Orochimaru. This has been Booster Box Buster with my second Naruto CCG Leans Lineage of a Legend Booster Box Unboxing. And before I go, I just want to say, if you liked the video, please leave a like. If you enjoyed my content enough, you want to see it in the future, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to check out another video, they should be popping up pretty soon. With that said, this has been Booster Box Buster, and I'm signing out. Peace.